OT cyber attacks have real world implications. They shut down water treatment facilities. They can destroy, kinetically destroy oil refineries. There was an attempt to do that, you know, within the last decade. Um, a few years ago, they basically destroyed Iran's steel industry. Um, some hackers took control of the hardware that literally pours the molten metal into the molds. And instead of pouring it into the molds, they poured it on the floor, like multiple facilities in Iran, just completely destroying these things. This is not the Stuxnet. This is outside of that or, or part of that. This um, was called Predatory Sparrow. Okay. There's video on the internet of it. I think it was in like 22, 23. So like these types of attacks have incredible physical damages, uh, physical consequences. And if you look at how much people spend on securing those IT systems, you know, is that reasonable? Is that not? I hope it's reasonable. Maybe it's reasonable. I'm not an expert in that. Um, it's like orders of magnitude less that we spend on securing the physical systems. So as a risk manager and military officers, that's how I started my career, are ultimately risk managers. I would just like, hey, maybe we should actually buy down those risks and spend some money to buy down on those risks.